Hey guys, so Red Snow has released the untethered version of the 5.0.1 software and I will be showing you how to jailbreak it. So the first thing you want to do is download Red Snow which will be in the description below. I will have two files, one for Windows and the other one for Mac. So you want to download that and then you want to connect your device to the computer or laptop. And this um uh, this jailbreak only works oh, it works on all devices except for the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2 since they have um, the A A5 processor. So once you're connected, what you want to do is open up Red Snow and I'm using the iPod 4th generation and you want to click jailbreak. And this mode you want to make sure your iPod is off. So as you can see my iPod is off for your iPhone and once it's off you're gonna have to turn it into DFU mode and what this is is basically you wanna press the power button for three seconds then press the home and power button for ten seconds and then release the power button for fifteen more seconds and it should turn into DFU mode and also the instructions for this setup will be on the screen once you click next so when you're ready you wanna click next and you want to hold the power button for three seconds then hold the power and the home button for ten seconds alright and then you want to release the power button and keep holding the home button and all the instructions are on the screen so now the thing is in DFU mode and all you have to do is wait Alright, so it's waiting for reboot, so all you have to do is wait. Alright, so this is all normal. If you hear those like sync those noises, it's fine. And now you're on this step. So if you if you already tether jailbreak your iPhone or iPod you want to uncheck install Cydia but if, if this is your first time uh, jailbreaking it you want to check install Cydia and if you want to enable battery percentage you want to check it if you want multitask gestures or custom bundles you can also check it but that's not recommended it's just for I don't even know I'm not going to use it and you want to click next and basically all you have to do is wait it will say downloading jailbreak data and this is all normal, don't freak out or anything. It's alright. And then soon after this, you'll be getting codes. Soon. Uploading update. And this should take a couple minutes, so just be patient. So these codes are normal, don't freak out about it or worry and it says on the on your screen it says done and all you have to do is wait basically so please wait as you can see it says on your i device please wait please wait please I'm actually kind of excited that this finally came out. It's been a while since I've actually jailbroken my iPhone or iPod. And I'll be making more videos for the iPod. If you have any requests or anything, please leave a comment below or you can message me. And I'm also going to make more like Photoshop tutorials. Or if you have any requests, just feel free. Except for software downloads because... I just don't want to get copyright claims or anything anymore. Alright, so this should take a little more.
time. Sorry if I keep moving the iPod. Checking camera. Yeah, so this should take us still a couple more minutes. To check your window. Alright, so now you can see that it's on like a pineapple and it's also normal. So this is the last step to jailbreaking your device and this will take I guess a couple more minutes. And when it's Yeah. Alright, so now it is turning on and you have finished um jailbreaking your iPhone or iPod or iPad. So we'll give it a while to reboot and just to show you that it actually works. I always get the Windows has detected that your computers. I always get that when I'm recording with Camtasia. I guess it takes up a lot of memory for RAM. Alright, so let me just type in my passcode really quick. Alright, so if I turn, you can... Alright, so in here you can see that there is Cydia, and we'll click on it. So now, untethered is, you can turn off your iPod, it's just like a normal device, you can turn it off, you can do anything you want to it, and it will always be jailbroken unless you restore it. So now have fun with this guys. I might be I will be uploading like nice tweaks for Cydia and cool winterboard themes and stuff, so be prepared. And thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed watching this video.